The last signal I want to cover in this video is the Barents Kara sea ice anomalies. This up here is our Barents Kara Sea, or BKS for short. Now, this is similar to what happens with our Siberian snow cover, but in a different way. You see, when you have less sea ice here, you have more heat and moisture being released from the ocean, which destabilizes the lower atmosphere. This creates low pressure anomalies over the BKS, which can actually strengthen the Eurasian high pressure to the south. This, of course, enhances the contrast between the warm oceanic air and the cold continental air. This contrast can actually generate strong planetary waves or Rosby waves in the mid troposphere. And guess what? Just like what happens in Siberia, these waves want to propagate upwards and disrupt our polar vortex. Here was our BKS sea ice in 2023 at this time, and watch when I go to the present. Notice we have a lot of sea ice missing throughout this region here. You'll also notice it going back to 2024 in this region. There's 2024, there's 2025. The sea ice in this area has actually pulled back. Whereas closer to Siberia, Alaska, and northwestern Canada, we're actually doing better on sea ice. 